Hey folks, Dave here. I appreciate you stopping by for another video and I hope everyone's well today. One of the things I've not yet tried with my laser is aluminum business cards. Uh, I did cut one up one time, but I didn't actually write something on it. Uh, so we're going to give that a try today. And we're going to make a template out of some cardboard. And I've used cardboard for other projects, but the business card may be too thin for that, especially uh, using air assist. It may blow away. So we'll find out. So I'm going to set up my workable space with these draggable lines added by Lightburn in version 1.5. And you can lock these into place if you just swipe over it. You can go over to the Shape Properties tab and just lock it in place. And if you don't have that tab, go up to Window, down to Shape Properties, and make sure it's checked. You can also swipe across the line and then right-click on it and lock it there. So we're going to grab a square, just draw out a rectangle, it's your selector tool. The card I have is 86.05 millimeters by 54.05 millimeters. Let me move that up a little bit. We'll go to the array tool and we will we've got 20 millimeters of space between them which is fine we'll just go up on the X one time while they're selected we'll go back to the array tool and go up to on the Y columns and we're set up for six so then we'll select all of these and then go to this corner right here, grab the corner, and snap it into the area that I've laid off. And if you don't have snap set, you can go up to settings and just make sure snap to object, snap to grid is turned on, and you will be okay. So now we're going to grab a preset business card for Joe Bob's loan service and like I said we're going to cut these first so let's go check the cuts we'll move this up and we will turn off the output for the fill the uh, tool for the lines is already off there is no output so the line will be the only thing we're going to cut. So we're going to add a couple of squares in the middle. That'll give us a spot to, uh, to tie it down to the bed. Uh, when you're using cardboard, it's, uh, you don't want it flying away on you. I'm just going to control D and get another one and put it there. And if you've got magnetic lockdowns then it works out good that way okay so we will jump in the laser cut this out and then I'll just come back and turn on the uh, Joe Bob's and we'll see well, we may as well do two cards while we're at it so I will get a duplicate control D of this pop it here and we'll do uh, a black card and a blue card just to see how they look now with the template you could certainly cut it out of something more permanent some wood uh, if you're doing business cards uh, frequently but I don't so I'm just going to use uh, cardboard but once you lock it into place uh, no matter what you cut it out of if you save your project uh, you'll be able to cut it the same way every time so uh, let's jump into the laser. I will cut this out, and then I'll come back and turn on the business card fields, and we'll see what that looks like. 
Okay, folks, I'll be right back. Okay, folks, looks like we're good to go. Uh, I'll send the code on over and we'll cut this template out. Put in our cards. Looks like they're fitting pretty good. Okay, we'll send this code on over and see how that works. Okay, well let me clean these up a little bit and we'll get a closer look at them. Okay, well here's our finished business cards. I think they turned out pretty good. The uh, black is definitely easier to see than the blue, but they both turned out good. Uh, using the cardboard uh, worked well for a template. If I were gonna make these really often, I would use a more permanent material for the template. Uh, but cardboard's fine, plenty of it. So I really appreciate you folks taking time to watch. It does help the channel grow. I hope the video was helpful. If you have any questions about it, just let me know. And if you have any questions about anything we've got posted or any general laser or light burn questions, just send me those and I will get you an answer. So just check back often for new videos. You folks take care and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.